Hello, I am Savita and welcome to my channel Savi's Creations. All it takes to make a room look lively is to add some picture frames and bring our memories back. We all have a collection of pictures ready to be hung on the wall. It could be either wedding pictures, kids pictures, family get togethers, framed artwork or anything else. I know many of you find it difficult to organize these pictures in a proper way. Floating shelf is a good option to solve this problem. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy DIY floating shelf for picture frames and also going to explain a simple DIY planter stand that adds elegant look to your home. Now let's go into the video for more details. This is the floating shelf for picture frames from IKEA and I found this discarded piece on a curbside. You can find these shelves in almost any shop but they only come in standard sizes. With this DIY project you can customize them to any length you desire and also save on the cost. We will need two 1 by 4 inch wooden boards and one 1 by 2 inch wooden board. Although they would be marked by sellers as 1 by 4 inch and 1 by 2 inch, the actual measurements are only 0.75 into 3.5 inches and 0.75 into 1.5 inches. The width is always less by half an inch. I have already cut the wooden boards to a length of 3 feet. You can cut them to your desired length. Since these boards are made of soft wood, you can cut them using handsaw or jigsaw. You can also request the store to have them cut to any desired length. Now we are just going to attach all these boards in a particular way. The 1 by 2 inch wooden board goes on the front side. The 1 by 4 inch wooden boards go to both the bottom horizontally and the back vertically. I have glued them together and clamped. After that, I have attached them using screws both from the front and the back. I have tightened the screws in the front such that it goes a bit deeper into the wood. Later, I will use the wood filler over the screw heads so that they don't show out. On back 1 by 4 inch board, I have measured 8 inches from both side edges and made the screw hole to hang it on the wall. Now before going to stain the floating shelf, I want to show how to make a simple planter stand for these two planters. First I am going to make the stand for this bigger one. I have measured the outer diameter of the planter and the height. The diameter is 9.75 inches and the height I need is 12 inches. You can increase or decrease the height as you need. For this DIY I need 1 by 2 inch wooden boots. I have cut two pieces of this wood to the length of 9.75 inches which is the diameter of the planter and four pieces of length 12 inches that is the height I need. The two wooden pieces that measures the diameter will act as a base for the planter and the four 12 inch wooden pieces will be its leg. I have marked the centers for the two pieces that go along the diameter of the planter and cut a half slit for the thickness of the wooden board. Once the slit has been cut, I have locked them in such a way that they are perpendicular to each other. If you feel the interlock is loose, you can insert a small piece of wood to make it tighter. Now I have measured 4 inches from one edge of the 4 wooden pieces which are going to be used as legs. I am attaching these 4 legs to the interlocked base piece using screws from outside.
I have made an additional stand similarly for the smaller planter. I have used wood filler over the screw heads so that they don't show out. Once the wood filler has dried, I have sanded them. Now you can stain this or paint it as you wish. I am going to stain this using dark walnut color. I have also painted the IKEA shelf using Java from Focut which is close to the dark walnut. Once the stain has dried, I have protected it using water based polyurethane. I prefer water based because it does not smell harsh, it dries fast and cleaning the brush is easy. If you prefer, you can also use an oil based polyurethane. Neatly arranged frames on the shelf and the planter on the stand gives your house a very elegant, modern, organized and welcoming look. Hope this video inspires you to make this DIYs. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for notification. Thanks for watching.